Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's fall and we're going walleye fishing. We're going after them, we're gonna hit them. New technique coming at you guys. Stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. Death jigs. So how you load them is when the head of the night crawler about half an inch, thread it on, onto that slow death hook, and take that end, peg it with the treble hook, quit squirming, just like that. Right there. Treble hook got that one. Feels like good fish, guys. Boy, he spanked that thing. Mm. Boys, you got a good fish here. Go turn that on. Darn it. <laughs> oh man. Death jig is gone. Inhale. She gone. Easy as pie right there. Okay, another pike.
guys using the Walleye Nation Creation Slow Death Jig. Uh, one and a half ounce. So that's what we're using. We're slow trolling them 1.2 mile an hour in like 12 feet of water. It's fall. I would expect these fish to be deep, but they are pushed right up tight against weeds right in the cabbage. So we'll fish them wherever they want to be. It does not matter. <laughs> death jig just actually threw on a plastic right there Berkeley plastic So one thing I did actually before is I switched rods. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a uh, 1000 reel. This is a medium light. I had a medium on to start with, and there's a lot of small fish in this lake, and I was missing the bites, right? Small fish. Oop, he's gone. I was missing those bites. So I downsized the power of my rod, pulled another fishing rod out, and here we go. And that guy there was caught on uh, ounce and a half Walleye Nation Creations, slow death jig. And that there is a Berkeley power bait uh, crawler, right here, night crawler. Caught a few on that one. And yeah, I'm just in like literally 10 to 15 feet of water, just making sure that that bait stays above the weeds and uh, just slow trolling it, right? I think that blade on this, uh, on this death jig here, spinning blade, I think that thing triggers a lot of bites to be totally honest with you. It's sitting there giving that vibration and then you got a crawler behind. I think, I think that's probably one of the keys to this whole deal. And of course, color. Color is everything. I just go, wait till I feel bottom, and then reel up like two reels, right? So here, I'm letting it down. There's bottom, my line's floating. There, that's it. Away you go. We'll get on him again. <laughs> so you guys are probably wondering why I'm choosing this death jig over a spinner presentation, bottom bouncing it along these weeds. Because I'm staying above these weeds with this uh, one and a half ounce death jig, right? I'm staying above them, planing right over, over the top of those weeds, and those walleye are coming out and, and grabbing that bait. So I don't want that bottom bouncer getting caught up. Um, it's just another way to fish walleye. Another technique, another presentation to catch those walleye guys. So yeah, that's uh, that's why I'm doing it. Oh, I was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. Otherwise, I would have fed him. Just crushed it there.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Here's a couple of our producers here. Death Jig with the Berkeley um, crawler. And then this is a custom painted Death Jig. I, I did that there on a little bit more chartreuse in it, right? And then I had a natural crawler behind him. That guy worked really good. And here are our walleye. Right there. So we're going home with Eats, right? Nice walleye. Away we go, fish fry time. So thanks for watching guys again. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the water. Take care.